So, uh, I've never done this before, but I got my phone set up on my tripod today. And, uh, it's pretty cool because I can, got the little remote in my hand here and I can control, uh, what I'm doing and I can stop and pause this video. The only thing is the wind is blowing pretty strong today and if this thing topples on me, it's not, not going to be so great. Um, so real quick, I'm going to do the intro. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me here, but I'm going to step out of the way. Well, there's trash there. There's the creek on this. If you look, you can see the creek. So, um, today we're going to be doing a little bit of rock hunting. And I have never done this before on camera. But I decided that I'd give it a try today. And we're going to go look and see what we can do. Um, it is November, so it's a little chilly. I'm out here wearing some. I got a little hood, too, if it gets too cold. So, don't be surprised if you see me wearing that. Um, I think that's about it for right this second. And I'm going to use the phone on the tripod and get my stuff ready. And I think we're going to get to hunting. And uh, hopefully this will be fun and enjoyable to watch. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, so I've gotten down here. And uh, the leaves make this a little harder. So it's about the end of the year for this. Um, but I did find my first geode. Um, so we're going to take a look at it here. Right here by the by the bucket. Really, really heavy, but I do hear some rattling around in there. So who knows? Maybe it will be something pretty good. Let's get a good shot of it there and by the creek. Oh yeah, that looks good. All right, we're gonna put it in the bucket. We'll crack it open later and see what's in there. Um, so this is pretty simple. You just I wear some gloves. I got a little ball peen hammer here. Um, that I just put in the bucket and carry. And then I just carry this bucket around, a little five gallon bucket, and I just walk along through here and I'll make several trips up and down. And I'm just looking at the ground all the time, looking for. So, right here is a little crystallized something on the end of this. Right here, that is some kind of. That was some kind of geode at one point that is on this rock. So, that's what I'm looking for. And if I find anything else, I'll let you guys back in. Um, but as of right now, that is going to be it. All right, so guys, we're out here. We're driving, and uh, spot one was kind of good. It was kind of not so great. Um, but the water was down a little bit in some sections, but up really far in the others. So um, that really did throw off the whole um, experiment there that we were doing. So, what we're doing currently is that we're moving. I'm going to move across um, to a different creek. It's the same creek, but it's a different spot of the same creek. Um, and we're going to go try to see if we can't get anything there at that spot. Um, I've never been there before, so I don't really know exactly how it's going to go. I hope that it's riddled with geodes and stuff like that, but it might not be. <clears throat> so, we're going to head that way and give it a try. Um, I'll catch you back in if we find anything. If we don't find anything, I'll probably show you what we found. And we'll probably crack one of those that we know for sure is hollow on the inside. Um, just to see what's on the inside. Just to see it, you know. Alright, well, I'm going to get back to driving. Focusing on driving here. And we're going to call it an evening, maybe. But I hope we get to get you back in here with some cool geodes at our next spot. Okay, guys. So, uh, this is a little crazy. But um, this is spot number three. Uh, spot number two was a bust. I did find one little tiny geode, but it was nothing. Oh gosh, that's a lighting. It was really nothing to uh, call home about. I don't know how the lighting is going to be. It's probably going to be awful on this. Oh, there we go. That's pretty good. Um, but we've came to a new spot, and um, let me, I, I, I'm going to do a different clip here. I'm going to end this one, um, and I'm just going to show you what I'm looking at right now because this is insane, um, and this is pretty – I mean, I just can't – I don't have the words. So I'll show you my bucket and stuff and what i found so far, and I'll show you what I'm looking at. So like I just said, uh, this is what I'm looking at right now is this rock. It's in question right now. I'm digging it out um, because it looks like a geode. I don't know that it is one yet. Look at that round shape. Actually, it's looking less like a geode the more I get down to it. We're going to come back to that. But right here, if you come over here, here's a geode. Okay. Uh, if we take a step this way, 
here's a geode there's a pretty good sized one um we'll go over here towards my bucket there's another one right in there i don't know if you can see that one very good um we'll take us a couple steps over here towards my bucket and let me just show you what we've stacked up so far look at that pile of rocks is that not awesome i mean that's just since i've been here that's been 10 minutes we've got a few in there as well that's been like 10 minutes of walking around here and uh, this spot um has these piles of rock so i'll try to let you see that we're under this bridge here under the highway and it has these big piles of rock and what they do is they come down here and they sell this creek rock to people who are trying to start driveways and uh, building foundations. Let me bring you over here to a couple of giant ones I found that are already cracked. But look at these. Look at those, dude. That is a mammoth right there. Look at that thing. I mean, golly. And then there's this one. That's a big pancake geo, but it's broken and it's a solid. It's a solid, you can tell. Um this giant one right here is insane and if you look out i mean this is just a normal creek you know just a normal creek with a little bridge and except they move this rock around and i think that might be the key to this spot is that they've come in here and moved this rock and it unveils the geodes i've got to get back to hunting because i'm getting carried away on the camera here so this is a three minute long clip probably. So I'm gonna get to hunting and I will for sure give you another clip. If I find another huge one like that, like that one right there, uh, and we'll let you know. <clears throat> okay guys, so I finished up here at the last spot here, the third spot. And uh, we've got a really, really nice pile of geodes sitting here. I hope you can see those. I think you can right there in front of the bucket and um like there's like 10 there and i would say eight of them are rattlers shakers oh let me get you there we go that's better um so my plan is to go back home we'll probably open a few of these today and uh spray them with the water hose and stuff clean them up a little bit and then i'll soak them probably tomorrow um through tomorrow and then maybe monday they'll be able to they'll be ready to look really really fine and Oh, I'm so sorry, golly, I got a heartburn. Um, so that's about it, I think, for this adventure. And we'll get another segment probably at home cracking a couple of these open for you. Because a lot of them are rattlers, and that makes me super excited. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Okay, so I found out that this is probably the easiest way to bust these things. So you're going to see my feet here. And I'm gonna attempt to bust this little dude. Well, I can't do that because you're just only see my foot. There's my shoe for a comparison. I wear size 13s. So um, I tried to bust the big one and it just will not bust and I don't have the capabilities to bust it. So you're gonna get me busting this one probably and I've got my little hammer here. So there's my hammer for comparison. I use a little tiny hammer. You'll see little pieces here probably. But let's go ahead and try to bust this one try to find a real good spot to bust it probably right along this line oh there it is okay all right so obviously really really muddy i'm in there but uh if you'll see like that right there that is going to probably clean up pretty nicely here's a chunk busted off here's a good little chunk busted off here of it try to get that in there where you can see it good i don't know if you're going to be able to see that very good so that busted into three little pieces not bad really I'm not super upset with that okay this one sounds like it's got water in it so it probably does there it goes and as I said, look at that water run out of there. So it definitely did have water in it. Like I said, I thought it would. That one ain't bad. I like that inside, actually, that one. And there's that little piece that broke off. Let's get some of this stuff rounded up and tossed out. And let's do, actually, I got this one in my hand. Let's just do it real quick. Little tiny one. 
probably a solid actually if you're asking me. Well, I think I'll stay still. Oh, and there it goes. A shot, piece shot out and hit the camera. Actually, there's what that one looks like. So that's just a little solid. We probably won't end up actually keeping that one just because I don't really keep the solids much. Another piece shot out behind the camera. I don't know how much you were able to see that. That piece shot way out behind the camera. And actually, I think that's going to be about it. Okay. And I'm going to pick this up. All right. And kind of show you a little better here. There we go. A little closer shot there of these guys. And what they look like cracked open. That's going to be it, guys. Um, I think that's going to be the end of this video today. Might be a longer one. I don't know yet. I'll have to take a look at um, all the video clips that I recorded today. Um, but I think that's going to be about it. This is, as always, this is uh, fishing for silver. Or used to be JSC Bassman for sure. And uh, we're going to catch you guys in the next one, okay? Peace out.